recording. Um, I'm still here at uh, Lookout Rock, waiting for the sun to come up. I got all my stuff packed up, and then sitting here drinking my Triple Crown concoction, <clears throat> which is oatmeal, coffee, hot chocolate, water. Uh, get started. I'm going to do um, 17 today. This is what I have on the books. I'm going to stop at the river and kind of wash up. Uh, walking through these burn areas get pretty nasty. And um, maybe wash a pair of socks or something out. We're on trail now. Full sunrise. And a pretty trail this morning. Slept pretty good. Another animal in my camp again. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Maybe something a little smaller. Um, it like, I don't know if they were chasing each other. It would be like raccoon size. I don't. Know that it was raccoon because I didn't see it in prints, but it like ran up against my tent, sprayed like dust all over the place, and uh, I got my headlamp and like shined it out. It was just a big dust cloud, but um, I don't know what it was. It did mess with my can a little bit, but it went on its way. So. Um, pretty trail this morning. I think we're going to do about 17 today. That gets us to the overgrowth section that they've been working on. Um, I just checked far at comments. 28th, 29th, 30th. Today's the 30th. They're going to be working up there, so maybe they'll punch through uh, today, and I won't have to do the road walk, and I'll have a nice clean trail, but I know that sun's right in your eyes. Pretty trail. You can see it goes up there. Really pretty this morning. Bear Creek. A very nice bridge to go across. Oh, those are pretty cool plants. Like a pretty big blowdown over there. Wow, this is really beautiful. Well, after swallowing about five gnats so far. I decided, hey, I've got this head net thing. I should use that. It works. They're buzzing my ear and they can't get in. It's so nice. Well, I went down to the middle fork of the Feather River. I uh, kind of washed my socks and the blackness off my legs. It gets pretty nasty walking through burn zones. So, uh, getting ready to cross over the Feather River, turn around, let you see what we're about to cross. It's 
from what I understand, this and I think three other rivers converge and flow into the Sacramento River, I think it said. Wow. Oh, wow. That'd be a lot of fun to jump in. Not from here, of course, but off the rocks. It's nice and deep. Uh, a lot of uh, like maybe old gold mining equipment or something down there. Um, you can definitely see how this river can get pretty high. Uh, <clears throat> Man, the temps are pretty high today. I have no idea. It's 91 o'clock and uh, I'm on a pretty steep climb. If I'm not mistaken, it's like four more miles to the top. And I just stopped in this tiny little bit of a shade from a tree. Oh my gosh. It is a scorcher today. So I'm laying here having a little siesta. Um, I'm glad I stopped here because I was way overheated. And uh, while I was laying here, there was a hiker came by and told me this dirt road that I'm almost at is actually the shortcut around this really overgrown section I'm coming to. Uh, I thought it was a little further up, so I'm glad I didn't go any further. Uh, but I'm gonna lay here for about 10 more minutes and um, I gotta conserve what water I have left. Um, Probably got like two or three miles before I can get water. So, but anyway, this heat is not fun at all. All right, this is uh, old Forest Service Road. <clears throat> it's obviously not being accessed right now. Uh, <clears throat> but this is where everybody starts the road walk. Right over there in all that thickness is where the trail actually is but this <clears throat> this road parallels it and it's almost got a pretty good trail um, mashed down through here so all right just gonna take my time still pretty warm um, gotta conserve water that I have well the quote-unquote service road is a little overgrown and there's quite a few blowdowns per se, but from what I understand, this is a lot better than walking up on the ridge where all the fire damaged trees are beginning to fall. The um, PCTA was doing some maintenance up there this weekend. But obviously didn't get all the way through. We got like two more miles to the creek. Here is an example of some blowdowns. Just kind of got a skirt under them at this point. I'm gonna go over them. It's a little more taxing. I just checked it was a little over four almost five miles of climbing in the heat of the day um, I am on a little downgrade now I think it will downgrade all the way to uh, Fowler Creek where I'm gonna get water probably sit relax probably even cook dinner there and then uh, 
I gotta like go a little further and I have to bushwhack up something um, back to the trail uh, to get to Fowler Lake Junction. Well, this is where I'm supposed to bushwhack up that hill, the mountain, to get uh, back over to the trail. I can see where someone's come down. I'm going to look around a little bit, see if I can find a little easier spot. But it is steep. <sighs> Made it part way up. Um, close to halfway. Uh, still a little bit in front of me, but at least I'm off the pretty steep scree bank. Um, <clears throat> this is a little bit better. But it's still steep. Oh, I made it back to the PCT. As you can see, there's blowdowns. Um, <clears throat> clear trail. So everybody's right. The uh, blowdowns kind of start right here. Um, now, I came up pretty much to the junction. So, <clears throat> I should be able to um, be able to just find a tent site and lay down and crash. So I am tired. This has been a long, hot, another hard day on the PCT. I'll get back with you in a minute. I'm doing the end of the day recap from inside my tent today. Uh, I got here and I had read comments about the mosquito issue. And I mean, there's nothing else for miles and miles. So uh, I had no choice. And... Um, they were completely right. So <clears throat> I had to even have my head net on to um, even put my tent up. And I th think I still got some bites on my legs. But um, I'm in here now. I uh, just got my bed set up. I'm going to um, do a Facebook um, post. Uh, there's no service here, so it'll have to upload tomorrow. But um, kind of look at what's ahead of me. Tomorrow, it's going to be a long day tomorrow. Almost 19 miles. <clears throat> Hopefully no blowdowns. Like, and I don't think there is any, um, like, diversion like we had to do today. So, uh, today was long, hot. Um, even though it was just four miles uphill out of the river, the North Feather River, or Middle Feather, Feather River, I think is what it is. Um, sorry, I can't even talk. Um, but, uh, it was long, and then I had to hit the road to avoid, uh, this section that I just, um, am on the edge of, uh, for all the blowdowns. <clears throat> uh, they said it's just so overgrown, and, and the blowdowns are just unmanageable. So, um... But anyway, I um, was able to make dinner at the spring and just going to hang out here tonight, um, try to get some good sleep.